guys. I wanted to show you what I've been working on today. I made this uh, neat little picnic table that also doubles as a bench. And I'll show you how that works. Very slick, huh? It's a uh, very easy project made up of all two by fours except for these pieces right here. That's like some uh, pressure treated deck board, and it's like one inch thick. Uh, but everything else is all two by fours. Uh, it's probably not as complicated as you might think just looking at it. Uh, pretty, pretty simple project. You can do it easily in a day or at least a weekend, uh, depending on how fancy you want to make it. But anyway, if you want to see how I made this, come on inside and check it out. Okay, as I was looking at this and trying to figure out how I was going to draw this up, you know, at first glance it kind of looks a little complicated, but then as I studied it a little bit more uh, in the open position in the where the picnic table is, I kind of realized that basically it's it's you just kind of have to break it down into three different little sub assemblies. So I've called this seat one. Uh, this part here is going to be the table, and then this other part over here would be seat two. So if I just kind of break it down and worry about building this, then worry about building the table section, then worry about building this, uh, you know, I think it'll be a much easier project to, to take on instead of trying to think of it as all one big complicated thing. Um, there's really, and really as I study it more, it's, it's really not that hard at all. Uh, the biggest thing that you have to keep in mind is right here where this leg uh, for this second seat, you know, where that hole is located, you have to keep in mind that when you pivot this thing around to put it in the bench, the height from the ground to that hole needs to be the same as when it's extended. So to get to get this table level. So other than that, that's really the, the most critical thing. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started uh, cutting some parts for this. of it and I just wanted to point out uh, you know you want to try to make sure this comes out even uh, you know this piece is 27 and a half inches which if you take seven two by fours at three and a half inches plus a half inch spacer you can see I've got these little spacers in here it should theoretically work out to 27 and a half 
but you know you may want to check the width of your two fours make sure it's right at three and a half if it's bigger or smaller you may have to adjust your spacing to get this to come out but i've got this side done here and now i've got to turn around and put the uh the side on the other one and i'm also being careful to make sure i keep this one and three fours uh hanging over here because that's that's the dimension i need for it to fit on that other piece okay so i got the uh the table part finished up and I've just got a couple of bolts stuck through here just temporarily but you can see how that clears okay and then this will set level and that'll be picnic table then you'll have a bench on that side and I've still got to do the bench on another side all right so step or bench one and uh, table is done now it's on to the bench two okay I got most of the parts uh, or pretty much all of the parts cut for my uh, seat two side of this and I think you can maybe see in this shot I've got my saw horses uh, up under here propping this up and I've got my level here to get it level so I can check my measurement of my hole and uh, it pretty much matches what I have on my print so I think I'm uh, good to go there so now I'm just going to start doing the assembly for the, the other side of the seat, seat two. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I want to thank all my new subscribers. We've got a bunch of new subscribers here lately. Appreciate all those. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button down below. And also hit the like button too if you like the videos you're seeing on here. Uh, I do want to say that if anybody wants to build this, Thing. I'll have the plans up on my website uh, on the plans page uh, probably in a day or two, maybe as early as tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure. It'll take me a little bit to finalize the drawings, and I've got to uh, put all the measurements in uh, inches and fractions because I know uh, that's what I'll, you know, usually when I do stuff in decimal, I always catch a lot of flack, but that's what I'm used to dealing with. So I will make a, a set of prints in, uh, in fractions so it's uh, a little easier for you guys to read the tape measure. So anyway, I want to thank everybody again for watching and we'll talk to you next time.